Hi and welcome back to the Cottage Cuts YouTube channel. This is Marla with Mad About Cards and Crafts and today we're creating this clean and simple slimline card featuring some of the newly released products in the Cottage Cuts store. Here's a peek at the die that I'm using. It's called Woodland Country Church. There is one die that will cut out all of the pieces needed to create this church scene. I do have the windows that I have separated so there is a solid and then there is the window piece. I'm just knocking out those little panes. I'm going to glue it to the solid portion and then I'm going to add the trim. So there are three pieces to all of the windows. There are four windows for this die set. One is a little bit smaller than the other as you can see in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to add a bow to the wreath and that's one of the things that I appreciate about cottage cuts is that there are tons of details in these dies. Adding the three layers to the windows really created some dimension. You're going to see that it's going to have a 3D effect, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I'm starting to build my church. I've added the roof line, and here I'm going to add the entryway. Once I add this entryway, I will knock out the windows in my door where the transom is. Speaking of those windows, you could have taken a, a yellow Copic marker and colored in the backing, the solid backing to create some illumination behind the windows and for the outside trim that I added, you could have colored those in wood tone. Again, I was going more clean and simple so I kept everything white. This is the trim to the door and again, there is that dimension, that detail which is so beautiful. I'm going to add the garland to the roof line. You certainly could take artistic liberties with this set. So you can see over to the left that I am using the packaging as a point of reference. I'm going to add the wreath above the door and then I'm going to add the bows where the garland is. I could have created a couple more of the wreaths and instead of the bows right here, I could have added those little wreaths on the side as well. The sky's the limit. You can certainly put this together, mix and match your products, and it would all go together just as beautifully. Here I'm adding the roof line to the entryway, and once I get that added, we'll start with the snow. So I'm going to add snow to the right side of the roof. And then there's going to be a piece of snow that's going to go on the left side of the roof line. And I'm looking for it right now. I know it's there. Oh, actually, I'm adding the window. So this was the smaller of the four windows. That one is going to go next to the entryway. And then I'm going to start adding the other three windows to the sides of my scene. And you can just see how quickly this came together. The trick, I think, is, is just making sure that you have all of your pieces assembly line. So all of the pieces that belonged with the church, you could see that I did have the roof lines, everything just kind of lined up. And then I had the windows. As they each had three pieces, I had those all lined up. And it made it really quick and easy for me to put this together. Here I'm adding the steeple once I finish with the steeple, I'm going to add the top. There's the roof. And finally, I'm going to add the cross. This die set just really spoke to me. I knew I wanted to do a clean and simple card, something really fresh, something elegant. It's one of my favorite ways to create cards at Christmas time. And churches, I it's a tradition of ours to go to Christmas Eve service. So, of course, the church was near and dear, and I knew that this was one of those dies that I just had to have. There you saw that I added the snow to the left side of the roof. I'm going to add a little bit of snow to the steeple right here. 
and then we're going to move along. So my finished card is going to be eight and three quarters by three and three quarters. I do cut a panel down to eight and a half by three and a half, and I'm going to spritz that smaller panel with a little bit of water using my distress sprayer right here. I have a an embossing folder from my stash and I'm going to add that to my background so to my card panel sorry and here I'm gonna center that and I love all the layering I have one of the dies I will link it in the description box below uh, it's a lace die, a circle, and I've added that using some art glitter glue. You can see where I have this snow right here. I'm just trying to see where I want my church so I know where to glue that down. And you can see that I do have an open path cut out. Now there is another piece that I could have inserted in there, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. And again, I, we were talking about taking some artistic liberties and this was one of them. I chose not to use the bear tree, but to go with both of the pine trees. So I'm going to add that to my scene the larger one to the left with a little bit of foam tape and the smaller one to the right. So again, I'm adding a little bit more dimension and really bringing this delicate card to life. Now that I have all of my pieces on, I am going to trim off anything that is overhanging. So I'll take care of that right now. And then I'm going to bring in the Merry Christmas with Snowflakes die. I did cut that out three times and we're going to layer that up because I have all of those beautiful layers on the church. I want to match that as well. But first I'm going to add some snow to my seam. So I did add the art glitter glue to the rooftop and to the edge of the left side of the rooftop. I added it to the path and then I sprinkled on some of this glitter with seed beads and then I'm going to do the same thing for the trees. Now I did notice and I didn't go back and change it. I left it as it was. I didn't add the glue and the glitter to the top of the steeple where the snow was but I think that it's still just as beautiful. I'm going to set this aside to dry and once this is dry I'm going to come back as I said with my sentiment. This is a beautiful delicate die. Again I did cut it out using 110 pound white cardstock. I'm using my art glitter glue. We're going to align these together and create a little chipboard piece. Once I finished putting all of these together I am going to place it on my card and I guess that my camera shut off when I glued it down but you can rest assured that I did end up gluing this down. Down. I am going to glue it at the bottom towards the bottom of my card underneath where the church is and once I do that that will be my finished card for today. I do want to mention that the Cottage Cuts Christmas 2 collection has now been released. There is 55% off the bundle and 30% off individual dies. I would encourage you to check those out. The winner of my last video, so I did have a giveaway of the special delivery die. That winner is Joyce Kurtz. Joyce, I will have Mary Marsh's information in the description box below. All you need to do is email her and she will get the die to you. Until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day.